It'll be Matt Zona up against Davon Ellis for the tip. Both of these teams coming in at two and two. We mentioned the overtime victories. Notre Dame over Oklahoma State and Maryland Eastern Shore over Penn and the Hawks win the tip. And that was right at the buzzer for UMES. One of the biggest wins for head coach Jason Crafton in his career. Absolutely. He's rebuilt this program. He takes on programs that struggle and he's done an incredible job here. 18 wins last year, their best winning percentage in a long, long time. 40 years. Deontay Johnson under five on the timer. Top of the key, three falls from Hupstead. Well, he said, who shoots the ball the best? We're going to win this game. And uh, boy, when you get a big stepping out and knocking in threes early, that gives your team a lot of confidence. You wouldn't have expected that 0 for 5 on the season before making that three. And now a turnover from Notre Dame as you took a quick look at Notre Dame's starting five. Same lineup as the last game for the Irish. As that's off target from Chase Davis. Here looks Burton. Look at this Maryland Eastern Shore team. I tell you one thing, you're going to see great defense. They led the nation last year, trading turnovers. Yeah, and they especially defend well on the perimeter. They limit their opponents to 25% from three. Top 40 in the country in that statistic. That's going to win you some games. Number 10 on the timer for Roper. Down low, Zona off the glass. Take a look at the UMES starting five. Chase Davis is a player who can really light it up from the outside. He really can, and so it'll be interesting how the Irish defend him. At the same time, uh, due to the portal, they brought in a lot of new players. Upstead again, that's what he usually does, yes. going inside, and what a game he had against Penn, 22 and 15. Yes, just a man, and he is strong physically. And when he can step out and shoot a three and then come back inside, that's pretty amazing. Burton down to Zona and a foul. Irish doing a really good job early of trying to establish inside position. You know, I think that's something that you want to do in the game. You want to really establish something in the paint, get a couple easy baskets, because the Irish have struggled early in the first four minutes of games. Yeah, when we talked to Coach Shrewsbury before this game, he said we're 0 for 4 in having fast starts. So yes. looking to get a little bit better in that category. The game against Oklahoma State, that was the first time this season that Notre Dame led at the end of the first half as Kinesny nails the three. Boy, that's a good feeling when a hometown kid comes back home and knocks down that first shot. Then the butterflies kind of leave, and now you just focus in on playing solid. Elijah Wilson on the outside, guarded by Kinesny. Goes over for Ellis, sophomore out of Chicago. Ten on the timer. Pull-up jumper. Bounce doesn't fall, and Roper with the rebound. Kinesny drives instead, kicks out. Roper's three falls. Again, a great drive, a great kick out, and a great look. Those are the things, again, a coach has talked about. Don't let the ball stick. Keep the ball moving on the offensive end. And a good sign for Notre Dame to see those two threes drop. And they were shooting just 22% on the season coming into this game as that jumper goes. Elijah Wilson with his first points. And boy, did he have a couple of yes. big shots in that <laughs> win over Penn. Worth the one to tie. Yes. And then the game winner with .9 left in overtime. Roper looking for another one, and he's got it. Wow. That was no hesitation whatsoever. Against the pressure, Notre Dame broke the press, allowed an open three, and buried it. Johnson over for Davis, preseason third team all MEAC. Provides some leadership for this team with a lot of new faces as here's a drive on the baseline. That doesn't fall, and Marcus Burton grabs the rebound. Irish looking to push it up quickly. Roper. Kinesny looking for another. Too strong on that one. Battle for the rebound, and Tay Davis comes away with it. Burton lines up a three. No good, and there's the putback for Tay Davis. Wow, that was great offensive position. Got inside. You know, again, that's the easiest way to score in basketball, those offensive rebounds. Six-point lead, Notre Dame five for seven from the field. Ellis in the corner. Upstead looking for another three. That one's off target, and Burton with the rebound. Marcus Burton coming off 20 points in the win over Oklahoma State. 
And he's going to be a person that's going to be constantly attacked physically because he has just led the Irish in shots taken and scoring. 19 and a half points per game. He leads all ACC freshmen. Here's Zona driving and puts it off the glass it in. Great opportunity to go to his left hand and kiss it off the glass. As a right-handed player, you know, that's the scouting report. He's got to go right, but he went left and was able to score off of it. Deontay Johnson, Hupstead, swarmed, oh my goodness, and he's team. fouled. And that'll send us to a break as Marcus Burton picks up the foul. Notre Dame was looking for a fast start. They've got it. They lead by eight. Greatness is a feeling. Fearless. Brotherhood. Greatness is more than winning the game. It's changing it. Greatness is what we do. Accomplish greatness. Rated T for teen. When did you last really feel something? Beyond the everyday, beyond the extraordinary, beyond imagination. Feel it now on PlayStation 5. PlayStation. Born in the wild. magic alchemy of woods and spices rare intoxicating the soul of sauvage elixir dior a senior mayor with this tower i will make pizza world famous and you! Yeah, you can see towers like this in Rome, in Venice, in Florence. But these ones round. No, I don't know. Maybe a red bull will help you see it from a different slant. Yes, I got it. We'll build it like this. Perfetto! Red Bull gives you wings. Welcome back to Purcell Pavilion. Notre Dame leads by eight. And head coach Micah Shrewsbury, of course, in his first season. And when we spoke with him earlier, he told us just how huge that Oklahoma State win was for the belief of this team. And, you know, when you get a young team and first-year coach, you want to look for those nuggets. And that was a big nugget to come in and beat Oklahoma State. And, you know, he was telling both of us that, you know, he has really seen the standards set. Now they need to beat and match that standard every night out. Trying to keep it going. It's been a 7-0 run for Notre Dame as you take a look at the resume for Micah Shrewsbury. So impressive yeah. at Penn State, the oh, job yes. that he did leading the Nittany Lions to the Big Ten Championship game and then a win in the tournament as well. Yes. And of course learned from so many fantastic oh, coaches. Yeah. Brad Stevens, Matt Painter doesn't get much better than no, that. He's got, I mean, he's got a doctorate in the coaches he's worked <laughs> with. I mean, it's pretty amazing the people that he has rubbed elbows with. It'll be Hawks basketball. Damani Claxton to inbound, the other point guard for the Hawks, and he's been in a battle with Deontay Johnson for that starting spot. Just sense a different focus in the Irish now that they've come back home. Upstead had it affected there by Keba Jai, but an offensive rebound. Upstead trying to put it back up, unable to save it, and the Irish take it back, but that's notable. Yes. Keba Jai, the first time he's been on the floor in a Notre Dame uniform. Yes, that is important if you're a Notre Dame follower. This is a big key to the team of getting him minutes and back playing again. You can still see the wrap on his right hand as Davis fires a three off target. And the Hawks spring it the other way. Chase Davis.
Davis with 16 points in the win over Penn. There were four different players that had career highs in that yes. game for the Hawks. You, you know, they're new. There's a lot of, but isn't that amazing to have four guys have the career games last weekend? Led to a massive win as there's a nice little move from Claxton. Offensive rebound. Hupstead trying to put it back up. Loose on the floor. Battle for it. Marcus Burton has it for a moment. And he's able to get it to wow. Jai. Maybe an opportunity in transition now for Notre Dame, but Roper being harassed there by Claxton, and it's a turnover back to UMES. But Kevin Jai, we talked about it, just so big to have him. The transfer from Penn State, he really came on near the end of his freshman year, and you can see it especially the way he played in the NCAA tournament. Absolutely. He's got the experience that a lot of the players on the Notre Dame team does not have, and, you know, he's also got the size, so now... Coach Shrewsbury can go with a two big lineup, and so he can go with him and, and Booth in the lineup at the same time. Before, when you only have two bigs, you got one on the bench, one playing, so it gives him so many more options as a coach. And Coach Shrewsbury's always all about defense, yes. and Keba Jai is a player that they figured to be a key piece of the puzzle defensively, so it's been tough to be without him. As out of bounds there in a turnover for UMES. Also, Logan Imes came on, one of the other freshmen from Zionsville, Indiana. Braden Shrewsbury. Got four freshmen on the Four floor freshmen. Right Carrie Booth and a sophomore. Yep. So this is yes. what you're seeing with Notre Dame in their first year under Micah Shrewsbury. So many young players making an impact. And they're, they're going to be building the standards that uh, Notre Dame fans will enjoy watching in the future. Jai up top. A lot of ball pressure. Burton trying to bounce pass it. Five on the timer here. Over to Shrewsbury driving in, and he has it swatted. Yeah, this is going to have to be a quick out-of-bounds play here. Look for a lob if the Irish can get that off in time. It's .3 seconds. See that roster break down there. So many new faces here in South Bend, but the Irish have to get a quick shot away here. Maybe just a tap. And Shrewsbury, it's going to be a shot clock violation. And it'll give it back to UMES. Yeah, tough situation. Point three. There's only going to have to be a, a lob. And of course, defense, defensively, you know exactly that. So it's going to be a tough play to get, get a good shot there. Israel Yao inbounding there. Sophomore from Guyana. As Toby Nadozi drives, doesn't fall, and Burton will bring it the other way. Hey, Burton trying to get it. I'm stolen by Claxton. And Damani Claxton all the way to the bucket, doesn't fall. The putback, neither. And a battle for the rebound, jump ball, possession arrow goes the way of Notre Dame. But coach, we talk about changes. Jason Crafton, he has almost an entirely new group as well, but what a coach he is and, and what a pedigree he has. He learned from Jay, Jay Wright. Wright. You know, we ask him, what, what, who's your mentor? Who, where did you learn your craft? And he said Jay Wright, who he, he worked with Villanova. And you know, that's Hall of Fame coach. And so you can see it, his walk through, his demeanor and how hard his players play. They, they are gonna be solid because of his coaching, no question hey. about it. He was an assistant in the NBA G League with the Delaware Blue Coats as Jai tries to back his way in. Yao stole it away. And here come the Hawks. Turnovers are starting to mount up a little bit for the Irish. As that three falls from Tyler Mack, and the Hawks really needed that. That ends a scoring drought of over five minutes. Yes. Now Notre Dame looks to break a three and a half minute scoring drought. Shrewsbury on the outside. And high, low, high, low look. Davis on yeah. the drive, takes some contact. And he's down here, head to the free throw line. Yeah, as a coach, you just don't want to see anybody go down. But uh, I think he's going to be all right. Hopefully Davis is all right. He'll be at the line after this. Notre Dame ahead by five in the first half. Rain-X water repellency wiper blades. Apply the magic of rain -X to your windshield. So water beads up and flies away. The improved water beading technology lasts longer. So you see clearly. Rain-X. Outsmart the elements.
Rated mature. When did you last really feel something beyond the extraordinary? Feel it now on PlayStation 5. PlayStation. The all-new Shark Detect Pro Auto Empty System. Shark's most intelligent cordless yet. Detects hidden dirt and boosts power. Detects edges and doubles suction power. It even empties automatically. Shark Detect Pro. Clean smarter. It's not like the good old days. It's not like the good old days. It's not like the good, it's not not like the like good, good old, old days. days. Stop parroting everything. Instead, drink a Red Bull and think for yourselves. Since when do you dictate what we do? Exactly. You're not the boss of us. Power to the people! Ah, well. Individuality often complicates things. Red Bull gives you wings. Hey, deal lovers, in. here's something new. Having good taste shouldn't cost you a good deal. And in this hut, $7 gets you both. The all-new $7 deal lovers menu at Pizza Hut. Because it's only a deal if you love it. I'm coming in hot. Go to Old Navy and you'll save a toboggan full of buckaroonies. It's a real bada-bing, bada-boom situation. This Friday only, get deals for 50% off. That's 50% off only at Old Navy. Look, this deal is a steal. And so is the toboggan. I know because I stole it. The love that goes into a Subaru comes out when Subaru and our retailers share the love. 116,000 animals supported. 3,300 wishes granted. 4.3 million meals provided and over 400 national parks protected. Be a part of something bigger. Get a new Subaru during the Share the Love event and Subaru and our retailers will donate $300 to charity. Get 2.9% APR financing on a new 2024 Outback during the 2023 Subaru Share the Love event. Shelves. Shelves that know what taste buds want. Shelves smart enough to see. Sense. React. Restock. So Caramel Swirl is always there for the taking. Maryland Eastern Shore trailing in this one by five. We mentioned a little bit earlier, though, what a season it was last year for Coach Crafton and company. 18 wins. They led the nation in steals per game and turnovers forced. Uh, it's, it's really amazing the things that he's been able to accomplish. You know, we're looking back, the best record they've had since 73, 74 in 40 years, rebuilding a program that he was sharing with us before. Like, they're probably the worst program in the country at any level. Yeah, he mentioned that in terms of all-time record, they're definitely near the bottom, but he definitely has them on the up and up, picked to finish this year fifth in the MEAC, but that was after they had to replace all five starters. Right, and you know, he just has that presence about him as, as a coach, total optimist. We're gonna get this thing turned around and we're gonna make it work, and that's exactly the program he has created here at Eastern Maryland Shore. Well, free throws good there from Tay Davis as they're on the drive. Nadozi unable to finish, and then Booth was fouled. We'll go on Israel Yao. And one of the things I see right now is a coach the length of Notre Dame. As people attack the basket, there is a lot of length deflecting, making people make adjustments as they go to the rim, which they haven't had in the past. Shrewsbury deep three, and he rattles it home. Good to see for Braden Shrewsbury. Yes, yes. Again, I think when you see that first one go through as a shooter, it just gives you a lot more confidence. Yao tries a three and hits it. Eastern Shore, again, playing strictly man-to-man, -man, and they really try to pressure the perimeter. Jai down low, out to Booth for three. That one short, and the rebound taken there by Victory Naboya. Sophomore out of Temple Hills, Maryland. Mack 
tried to kick it back out. This will be a backcourt violation. They'll just let it go out of bounds and a turnover over to Notre Dame. You know, as a coach, you want to get your shooters off to a good start. So you're going to see young freshmen just getting a good open look. And, you know, that's what's going to happen. But, you know, they matched right back up and came right back here. A good penetration, good kick. And the game of college basketball, just like the NBA, is becoming a three-point shooting contest in a lot of ways. Well, the surprising thing, Coach, three threes for Maryland Eastern Shore, but you didn't expect one to come from Israel Yao and Troy Hupstad, a couple oh. of the bigs knocking down the threes. Oh, no, I mean, that's not his scouting report. That's a, that frustrates coaches when they say, hey, this wasn't in the report. <laughs> What's happening here? Notre Dame has to get a shot away. Imes with a teardrop off the glass and in. Great attack the basket and great awareness of knowing how much time he had and had to put it up quick. Logan Imes, another one of those in-state products yes. from Zionsville in the Indianapolis area. Elijah Wilson off his foot. Ooh. It will be Notre Dame basketball as we take another look back at this floater by Logan Ives. Yeah, you know, just attack the basket. He knows he doesn't have much time. Notice he puts it up soft off the glass. You know, I think the glass is the player's friend. And for the young people out there, if you can use the backboard, it's going to help you not get more shots. Marcus Burton bringing up the floor there, still without a point. Notre Dame hasn't needed him, though, with a nine-point lead. I think that's a good sign. Now, they don't want to lean on him too much, no. especially as a freshman. Yes. Roper tried to get it to Zona off his hand. And that says a lot about Burton's game, too. He's not forced anything. Underneath the reverse lay-in, Davon Ellis. Came over from Fair State Community College to Link Prep as well, originally from Chicago. Sure, he has a lot of family here. Absolutely. Pretty quick drive, just about an hour and a half. Yeah, you know what that's like. <laughs> I do, absolutely. You got out of town before the Thanksgiving rush. Yeah, you got to beat that rush around Chicago. Yes. I'm really impressed with the crowd here tonight. I think absolutely. when you have local players, you know, you know the students are on break, but you have a lot of local players, Indiana people, and that's going to bring a lot of Indiana people just to be here to watch the games. Roper in the corner. Left it short. Offensive rebound. Zona. What a foul call. I think he got his left arm in there and pushed off to create space. First foul on Matt Zona. It's been a pretty clean half so far. You know, you haven't seen a whole lot of fouls, haven't seen a lot of turnovers. And I think that just gives a, a, the player a sense of better flow of the game. So, Absolutely. You know, you watch games sometimes with whistle blowing a lot. Players never can get in a flow. That was just the second foul on Notre Dame, four so far on UMES. And both teams are playing really hard defensively. Davis on the outside. Try to kick it out. Another turnover back to Notre Dame. Jair Kutnesti had a great deflection there. He got his hands on the basketball, deflected it off, and it's Irish basketball. Well, that intensity is what Coach Shrewsbury is looking for from J.R. Kutnesti. He mentioned there was a 50-50 ball in that Western yes. Carolina game he wasn't able to get to, but in the Oklahoma State game, he did get that tie up in overtime that was huge for yes. Notre Dame. Yeah, and the one possession, one possession can determine a ball game and it may not be in the last 30 seconds you know so you got to win every possession one possession at a time and by doing that you win the game five on the shot clock good cut by Burton the kick out Shrewsbury corner three he hits it plus the foul oh my goodness that is a great penetration not too many point guards can find that man and make that kick out press from the freshman that's a connection Notre Dame fans are hoping to see for years to come. Burton to Shrewsbury, Notre Dame ahead by 10 in the first half. When you order a Big Mac in the McDonald's app today, you'll earn points you can redeem for a free Big Mac in your future. 
future you says. Thanks. Earn free food with the app. It's not like the good old days. It's not like the good old days. It's not like the good, not not like like the good, good old days. days. Stop parroting everything. Instead, drink a Red Bull and think for yourselves. Since when do you dictate what we do? Exactly. You're not the boss of us. Power to the people! Ah, well. Individuality often complicates things. Red Bull gives you wings. This time of year, there's one workshop on everyone's mind. The one that spends the whole year making toys and gifts. The Home Depot Kids Workshop. Teaching those who will one day build their own homes and communities that doing is a gift you can share with everyone. Happy Holidays from The Home Depot. Every family has one. You know the one who pushes the limits. He's always up for a challenge. He never backs down, but always has your back. Every family has one. Well, we have three. Meet the Chevy ZR2 family. Chevrolet, together let's drive. Born in the wild. The magic alchemy of woods and spices. Rare. Intoxicating. The soul of Sauvage. Elixir. Dior. The love that goes into a Subaru comes out when Subaru and our retailers share the love. 116,000 animals supported. 3,300 wishes granted. 4.3 million meals provided. And over 400 national parks protected. Be a part of something bigger. Get a new Subaru during the Share the Love event and Subaru and our retailers will donate $300 to charity. Get 2.9% APR financing on a new 2024 Outback during the 2023 Subaru Share the Love event. Welcome back to Purcell Pavilion. I'm Dara Mabry and I talked with head coach Jason Crafton this morning and he told me that him and his team are not playing bigger schools for the extra recognition or to collect a check. He said they are here to win. They were disappointed in their loss versus UConn two years ago, but because of these high expectations, it's allowed them to collect big wins over schools like Temple, Fordham, and Penn recently during his time at Maryland Eastern Shore, and they are looking to add to this set of wins here tonight in South Bend. Thanks.
After a long night of bringing home the bacon, there's nothing wrong with a nice, smoky nightcap. After all, it's 5 a.m. somewhere. Hormel Black Label Bacon. Make it. The all-new Shark Detect Pro Auto Empty System. Shark's most intelligent cordless yet. Detects hidden dirt and boosts power. Detects edges and doubles suction power. It even empties automatically. Shark Detect Pro. Clean smarter. Your favorite thing delivered right to your door means that you never have to stop doing your other favorite thing. Nailed it. Order McDelivery in the app. What I feel in my heart during the Subaru Share the Love event, it's just so rewarding. We believe in love, not just our customers, but also our community. And the Subaru Share the Love event is truly an example of that. Over $285 million donated is phenomenal. It absolutely sets us apart from all other car companies. Right now, get a new Subaru, and Subaru and our retailers will donate $300 to charity. Get 2.9% APR financing on a new 2024 Outback during the 2023 Subaru Share the Love event. Sometimes I need to paraphrase. It's easy to make your work clearer and more concise. They're still your ideas, just shorter. We'll definitely stay under the time limit this time. Better. Now the biggest part of this assignment is making the pitch compelling for the judges. You can use Grammarly to make your sentences more engaging, confident, and persuasive. This is perfect. 94% of students say Grammarly helps improve their grades. Download Grammarly for free. heavy duty DNA, HDNA. It's engineered into every aspect of the GMC Sierra HD with the pulling power to prove it. Toe hitches of the world prepare for glory. What a start to this game it's been for Braden Shrewsbury. A new career high for him with 13 points. Came in averaging five and a half per game and Coach, really, I think it was just a matter of him. He's got to keep shooting from the outside. He's a shooter, yep. and he started to get hot. Yeah, shooter, shoot. And I think there's been some pressure on him as a freshman coming in. Dad's the coach. Everybody knows that. High expectations. But now I think by coming off the bench, he's maybe relaxed just a little bit. Kind of saw the game. The game caught up with him a little bit. Then he exactly responded well from it. Himes can't hit the three. Tapped around and taken there by Wilson. Toledo transfer. Mac. Quick Air shot. ball. Another opportunity, though, as Wilson grabbed the rebound. Notre Dame's defense has been stellar. Ooh, Ooh. a little miscommunication. That hit a fan straight on. Hopefully, they're all right there. Yeah, we got that's. Whew, that's the danger there. He's yeah. good. He's yeah, good. He's good. I think he's all right. <laughs> you know, it looks like he's got a little bit of hair or something protecting there, but you got to be ready. You always got to be your hands ready. You do. You know? Like a baseball game, you got to know when those foul ball balls are coming. Best seats in the house, but the most dangerous seats in the house. Another kick out. He's going to hit this one. Nope. Not that time. And a foul. That one going on Kebajai. You know, I think if they're going to look at the stat sheet at halftime, they're going to see, that is Marcus Burton. We shut him down. But, you know, Marcus Burton has distributed the ball tonight and said, you know what? If you're going to take away my points, I'm going to distribute and make passes. And so that tells you what type of kid he is. He, he's going to say, whatever it takes to win games is, is really what he's all about. Four assists, also five rebounds as that runner was short from Wilson. And then a reach in foul going on Yao. As a basketball coach, you don't want to foul 90 feet away from the basket. You know, I think that's it. And now you put somebody at the free throw line that's dead, deadly from the free throw line. So, you know, uh, when things are getting bad, they go worse when you're fouling 90 feet away from the basket. And Marcus Burton at 90% on the season. 
course, hit some clutch free throws in overtime against Oklahoma oh, State as well. Yes. Him and Kinesny, when Notre Dame needed those clutch free throws, they hit him. And he makes the front end of the one and one. You know, it was interesting at the end of shoot around today, they were playing a little game <laughs> with the free throws. Yes. We thought maybe Marcus Burton would win it. Uh, it was not Marcus Burton. It was JT Kelly, one of the walk-ons, yes. who won the free throw shooting competition at the end of shoot around. Yes, it was interesting to watch that. That was a great contest where, you know, the players had to make a shot. If they missed, they were done. And so uh, isolated down to a lot of the, the walk-ons were dominating at the end. And, uh, <laughs> you know who was excited? The, the team was excited for the walk-ons and a walk-on winning the free throw shooting contest. Yeah, it was a lot of fun, but it was surprising. Marcus Burton was out maybe after yes. three rounds. I thought he was going to make it near the end. But he only, he only, he only <laughs> makes him win the TV grand. Right. right? <laughs> but that's the time that really counts. And, and he's done a, he's done very well this year at that. Making both there. It's a 7-0 run, a 14-2 extended run for Notre Dame, pushing the lead up to 19. Good switch out underneath. Knack, baseline jumper, blocked by Imes. I am really impressed with the Notre Dame defense. Roper with the handoff to Booth. Good patience. Burton, shot clock under 10. Elbow jumper, too strong. The Hawks need a bucket. Mack looking for it. Can't hit the three. And Roper nearly had it poked away. Notre Dame moving in a transition. Roper to Booth for the two-handed slam. Again, a veteran guard taking the ball down the floor, not in a hurry. Letting the spacing take place and a great, great find and great flush. 9-0 run. It's been a scoring drought of four and a half minutes for UMES. Step back jumper. Ellis, boy, did they need they that. that one. They needed that one bad. We're talking about a team that just came off a big win against Penn, so this is a team that's got a lot of ability. Burton down the lane, high off the window, doesn't get the roll. Under a minute to go in this first half. And a timeout. Yeah, you know, when you want to get the ball down the floor, I think the key is advancing the ball, keeping your head up. Now he looks to his left, then he looks to his right. And if I had somebody to throw it to, I think going by the 6'10 guy, you know, that can flush it. So that was a great decision. Then a step back three. And again, those are the things that uh, Maryland Eastern Shore needs to be able to do a lot more of here and in the last minute of this half and then the entire second half. They're going to have to shoot the ball a lot yeah. better. Especially trailing by 18 here. Yes. This is a team that came into this game shooting the three at just 29% yeah. of the season. They've actually been shooting it really well from outside, four for nine. Problem is, there's been turnovers and overall 28%, so they haven't been scoring in the paint. No, I've really been impressed. Notre Dame's length uh, is impressive. They could put a, a group of people out there now that has a lot more length than they had earlier in the year. And so when you add length, you add make it tough to score inside, and that's exactly what you've seen with Maryland Eastern Shore. Ellis has it stolen by Roper. And for Burton, tried to kick out there, looking for maybe Kinesny, and it's a turnover. These last two possessions, I think, are going to be very important. You can build that lead. You can get up and you know, double it. Or, again, if you knock down a three here, get back in a little momentum at halftime. It was Kalichi Okwaraguo who just came on for the first time. But Devon Ellis getting another bucket there. One shot here. And Coach Shrewsbury will take a timeout. Try to draw up a play here, but we talked about Notre Dame had not been able to get out to a fast start. They've done it tonight, their season high in the first half. Nope. You know, and again, that's been something that uh, the coaching staff has really spent time on. How do we get off to a better start? And, you know, uh, it's, it's variables. The free game, how they look at things, 
uh, the scouting report, uh, pre-practice plans, all those go into impact. But it really comes down to players' focus. You know, are they focused and when the ball goes up? Are they ready to respond? Today was one of those games where immediately they came out with a lot of energy, a lot of focus, and it's carried on now for the full 20 minutes. Notre Dame getting it done on the offensive and defensive end. Hit a cold spell here, one of their last seven, but still shooting 48% in this first half. Yeah, you, as a coach, you're looking at the scoreboard and you're saying, wow, we've given up 22 points in 20 minutes. You got to be happy no matter what. You got to be very happy about your defense. An opportunity to get over 40 in this first half. Look for a high ball screen here. Here it comes. It's it from Shrewsbury. And Burton waits oh, in traffic. Wow. They play on. Nearly stolen by Kinesny. Puts it up at the horn off the back of the backboard. And that'll do it for the first half. One of the best halves of the year for Notre Dame. They lead it by six. Six rebounds, four assists. You take a look at the game summary. Statistics really controlled by Notre Dame. And then Burton gets going, of course, yeah, yeah. to start the second I, half. Again, I think they hear <laughs> us. I think they hear us. And once you, you mention their name, then they score a bucket. So eight points for him now. Here's Hupstead. And off to Ellis, dribbled off his foot. Elijah Wilson down the lane. Or I should say six points for Burton. Yep. So gave him two more too early. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, he's got a streak here of, you know, double getting double figures at a freshman. That's that's pretty impressive what he's been able to do. And uh, you know, if he keeps that streak going, he's gonna be in some elite company. And you can see he's scored in double digits twice in the second half as Hupstead comes away with a steal. Drives all the way and he's fouled by Kinesny. Yeah. One of those lazy passes, but you have to give credit. We, we talked about the pressure that Maryland Eastern Shore puts on people. And you've got to snap those passes. Any lazy pass, got to get deflected. So it's Hupstead at the line for two. Nine for 17 at the charity stripe on the season. Troy Hupstead played at Panola College. Came over to UMES. He said his favorite quote is work like a peasant, live like a king. I really liked that. Yeah, I, I didn't see really who it was attributed no. to. And I was searching all over. I couldn't find out who it was, but whoever came I up had, with that, it's a great a quote. Great quote. <laughs> Absolutely. And his work ethic is very, very good. He's got a high end engine. He plays hard, plays focused. This Roper couldn't hit there. Chase Davis. Switch out for the guards for Notre Dame. Johnson. Good attempt on the baseline. It'll be Notre Dame basketball. Last touch there by Ellis. Again, yeah, that's a frustrating situation. We see these turnovers. Turnovers starting to mount up here. You know, uh, I got them for 12 turnovers. That's way too many in this type of a game. Came into this game averaging just over 11 per game. Zona for three, and he hits it. What a great addition when you have a big that can step out and hit threes consistently. And Notre Dame has a couple of those bigs that can do that. That Zona with seven points on the night. Upstead double teamed. Davis, tough shot, doesn't fall. Again, a great defensive effort by Notre Dame at half court. Zona up top again, working against Hupstead. And a lot of pressure on the perimeter. Kinesny drives baseline, kicks out. Davis, open three. That's short. Wilson and a block there. 
Tay Davis ends up in the hands of Hupstead. Skip pass across for Ellis against Konezny. Nice drive. Really strong move to the basket. Again, able to kiss it off the glass, which is a big advantage when you're driving on the right side like that. Davon Ellis, the first player for UMES in double figures with 11. Here's Davis driving all the way to the hoop, takes some contact, he'll head to the line for two. You know, you can't keep a great player down very long. They're going to find a way to get their hands on the basketball. But here's a good drive. Look at that. That's just a great drive. And he was able to attack and use the backboard. And that's what you got to do. You've got to be able to use the backboard on that shot or it's not going to go in. When we mentioned earlier, this is a team that lost five starters from last year. So yes. they're still trying to find out who are our scorers, who yes. are our leaders. And so far early in the season, it seems like Davon Ellis is one of those players. Yes. You know, he, he looks like he's more confident. But again, it takes time for a team playing together to get a feel for everybody else who's what shots are looking for where at on the floor all those are important part of developing a teamwork no seniors on no. the roster and I feel like seniors are even more important when you're a smaller program yes you see a lot of upsets in college basketball when you see older players playing for their third fourth and fifth year well, Notre Dame dealt with it earlier this year. Western yeah. Carolina, very yes. experienced team that came in here and took down Notre Dame. As you take a look at Jason Crafton continuing to build up this program yes. at Maryland Eastern Shore. Well, one thing about this program, they are going to play hard all the way through. So it's not going to be a situation they're going to throw in the towel. They will continue to play as hard as they can. And that's a reflection of the coaches and the coaching staff. Just the, the mentality is we're out here to play extremely hard for the full 40 minutes, and we're not going to let one possession go by without total effort. As Deontay Johnson sinks both free throws. A sophomore from the Bronx attended the Patrick School in New Jersey. You heard of that one, Coach, that school out there? I have not heard of that. Well, some of their alumni... Kyrie Irving. Oh, that's pretty Michael Kidd-Gilchrist. Oh, wow. Yeah, not too bad. No. <laughs> That's a who's who's right there. Definitely one of the yeah. more well-known programs in that yes. state. Yes. Foul there went on Elijah Wilson, his second of the night. Second team foul on UMES in the second half as here's Burton underneath the basket. Yeah just got an amazing knack of I guess you would call it um, body development where he can just maneuver his body and get in there and finish baskets it's a unique knack that he has Davis deep three he can hit those but not that time Kinesny fights to keep the rebound up ahead to Burton. Marcus Burton looking for two more, and he's got him yep. into double figures. Become a little bit more assertive on the offensive end here in the last three or four possessions. Ten points, six rebounds, four assists for Marcus Burton. It's a pretty good line. Ellis. Now Johnson spinning his way, blocked by Zona. Now Burton for three, off target. Wilson brings it the other way for the Hawks, around a screen, just inside the three-point line as Kinesny rises for the rebound. Another rebound. You can see, again, his length helps him on the on the boards and that just makes everybody better. Zona down the lane can't quite finish. Upstand will bring it ahead there. Deontay Johnson under 15 minutes to go in the second half. UMES on another cold streak yes, nearly yes. three minutes without a made field goal. Again I give Notre Dame a lot of credit defensively for that. 
Upstead hey. knocks down his second three of the night. He said, I did that to start the game. And uh, it worked then, so I guess we'll try it again. Nine points for Troy Hupstead. And that stopped, uh, you know, really a drought that uh, they were struggling with. Himes for Davis. Turns it over out of bounds. It'll go back to UMES. It was a cold streak there for the Hawks. Knocked down a three. Notre Dame still leads by 18 with 14 to go in South Bend. Every year as I carve the annual holiday nut bowl, I remember a time before people had it to gather around. Maurice! What? <laughs> oh, I'm hilarious. Sometimes togetherness is as easy as a nut bowl. Sometimes. With Duracell, holiday magic comes easy. Enjoy it while it lasts. Because in the blink of an eye, they become moody teenagers. I was supposed to be spending Christmas at Jason's. His parents are actually cool. You only get a few magical holidays. Don't risk them to save a few cents. Trust Duracell. Uh-oh. It's the Southeast Mini Golf Mixer Champs. Anything cool this weekend? I just stayed in. That's cool. Yeah. Cleveland or South Beach, be the real you. What I feel in my heart during the Subaru Share the Love event, it's just so rewarding. We believe in love, not just our customers, but also our community. And the Subaru Share the Love event is truly an example of that. Over $285 million donated is phenomenal. It absolutely sets us apart from all other car companies. Right now, get a new Subaru, and Subaru and our retailers will donate $300 to charity. Get 2.9% APR financing on a new 2024 Outback during the 2023 Subaru Share the Love event. There's DNA, then there's heavy-duty DNA. H-DNA. It's engineered into every aspect of the GMC Sierra HD, with the pulling power to prove it. Toe hitches of the world prepare for glory. NFL Plus. I catch live, local, and primetime games on my phone. And I catch every touchdown every Sunday afternoon on NFL Red Zone. Catch it all and start streaming NFL Plus today. Plans start at $6.99 a month. People who come to Cricket stay with Cricket. My family loves going foraging by our farms. And with Cricket, we can mark our locations, post photos, even identify mushrooms. Don't have to look far for a good deal. Smile, you're on Cricket. Live sports. ESPN Plus Originals. The exclusive home of the complete 30 for 30 library. Welcome back to South Bend. And the story early in the season for Notre Dame has been the play of a local product, Marcus Burton from just up the road at Penn High School. What a year he's having so far and what a career he had yes. in high school. Oh. Indiana Mr. Basketball. And that says it a lot. Indiana Mr. Basketball is a special person, special legacy. And he brought that back to northern Indiana, which hasn't happened in a long time. But his numbers were just incredible. Coached by a Hall of Fame coach, Al Rhodes. And so the transition from from high school to college has went a lot faster because of, of his background and his play. The all-time leading scorer in St. Joseph County, which is a oh. pretty impressive accomplishment as Hupstead can't finish. Offensive rebound once again, rolled over the rim by Nadozi. Again, we talked about that about three or four minutes ago. There's not gonna be a, a quit in this team. They're gonna continue with Ryan, continue to defend and rebound. Definitely exemplify that right there. And this is a challenge for the Notre Dame young players too. Is this a time when they're going to step on the throat, if you'd say, and say, we're gonna put this game away right now? UMES with nine offensive rebounds. Saw a couple on that possession. Nice dish down for Jai. That's gotta feel really good for him too. Now getting back into the flow of things after a 
you know, preseason injury. And his first points of the season. Hupstead again, are you kidding me? He was 0 for 5 coming into the night. He's hit three threes. Coach Shrewsbury was even talking to him like, <laughs> this is not on the scouting report. You have not made a three all year. And now you make three. Three now for four. Yes. Zone, <laughs> first zone look here. See how Notre Dame handles it. Need to get the ball inside. Roper on the baseline. Kicks out Shrewsbury. Nice Extra pass for Imes, and he knocks down the three. Incredible ball movement against the zone, just like you would script it. Got the ball inside, inside out, made the extra pass, and had a wide open look. Yao driving hard. And Jai comes away with a rebound. A little bit of contact there with Hupstead at the end, but they play on. Disadvantage right here. Imes, Jai, Shrewsbury in the corner. Good decision. Ndozi harassing him. And it ends yeah. up being stolen for a moment. A foul call will send us to break. And Logan Imes knocking down the three. Notre Dame shooting it well from the outside tonight. The Irish ahead by 18 on their home floor. Looking to celebrate Thanksgiving early. Every year as I carve the annual holiday nut bowl, I remember a time before people had it to gather around. Maurice! What? <laughs> oh, I'm hilarious. Sometimes togetherness is as easy as a nut bowl. Sometimes. With Duracell, holiday magic comes easy. Enjoy it while it lasts. Because in the blink of an eye, they become moody teenagers. I was supposed to be spending Christmas at Jason's. His parents are actually cool. You only get a few magical holidays. Don't risk them to save a few cents. Trust Duracell. Uh-oh. It's the Southeast Mini Golf Mixer Champs. Do anything cool this weekend? I just stayed in. That's cool. Yeah. Cleveland or South Beach, be the real you. Go to Old Navy and you'll save a toboggan full of buckaroonies. It's a real bada bing, bada boom situation. This Friday only, get deals for 50% off. That's 50% off only at Old Navy. Look, this deal is a steal, and so is the toboggan. I know because I stole it. What I feel in my heart during the Subaru Share the Love event, it's just so rewarding. We believe in love, not just our customers, but also our community. And the Subaru Share the Love event is truly an example of that. Over $285 million donated is phenomenal. It absolutely sets us apart from all other car companies. Right now, get a new Subaru, and Subaru and our retailers will donate $300 to charity. Get 2.9% APR financing on a new 2024 Outback during the 2023 Subaru Share the Love event. I have 1,549 catches, but my best catch, NFL Plus. I catch live, local, and primetime games on my phone. I catch NFL Network. And I catch every touchdown every Sunday afternoon on NFL Red Zone. Are you using that? <laughs> start streaming NFL Plus today. Plans start at $6.99 a month. There's DNA. Then there's heavy-duty DNA. H-DNA. It's engineered into every aspect of the GMC Sierra HD. With the pulling power to prove it. Toe hitches of the world prepare for glory. Welcome back to Purcell Pavilion. Maryland Eastern Shore trailing by 18, but the Hawks continue to battle hard. And this is a school that has some really notable alumni. NFL Hall of Famer Art Shell, Clarence Clemens. Are you a big Bruce Springsteen fan, the East Street fan? <laughs> I didn't think he came from That's amazing. The <laughs> Bruce came from there. Well, Clarence Clemens, that yes. is the saxophone oh, player. Yes, right. And 
you'll hear him a lot during the Christmas season oh, because, yeah. of course, you yes. know, Bruce Springsteen asks yes. if he needs the new saxophone. Art Shell, <laughs> Oakland Raiders days, I believe. And actually, UMES had a great football history. They don't have a football program anymore. But in Super Bowl three, they had five players oh, in the Super Bowl between the Jets and the Colts, the famous Joe Namath guarantee game as Max three doesn't fall. This guy does his research. Let me tell you, you find out all the little <laughs> tidbits, but that's a that's a great one there. Great post up inside. Great backdoor cut. Here's Roper. Shot clock under 10. We'll see. Jive for three. He hits it in the corner. You know, I think right now he can he can shoot the ball better than pass the ball. And just looking with the padding on his hand, but we were watching the pregame. He shot the ball so well, and that's a good sign to knock in that three. Short jumper, good off the window from Nadozi. And when we're looking at uh, Notre Dame right now, the bench has become very solid. That he can play, you know, nine players, and that's so important especially with young players as a coach you got to play young people there's a reach in foul and the boy another look at that three from John yeah. just very confident knocking in the three coach Shrewsbury has brought that philosophy from Penn State you know to knock in the three is a big part of the game and so if you watch them in the free game you watch them in practice they get up a lot of shots 10 threes tonight for Notre Dame much better than they've been at the start of the season. Here's another guy that can shoot it. Gary Booth, yes he can for three. <laughs> 11 for 23 from beyond the arc. And that's so important for this young team. If they can knock in perimeter shots, that's gonna open up the driving lane for Burton and so it's everybody hitting them really makes a big difference. Natozi with the lob for Yao nearly at the alley-oop. That would have been one yeah. amazing dunk. That would have been on SportsCenter. Yes. <laughs> Great Monty Claxton has Great. it stolen by Burton. And Marcus Burton is blocked on the other end. Good recovery there by Naboya. Now the Hawks in transition. Claxton doesn't fall. A little bit of up and down pace right now for both teams. Yeah, we haven't seen this no. too much tonight. No. And now Notre Dame will slow it down a bit in the half court. You know, the key has been the team that creates turnovers has not been able to do it tonight against the Irish. Well, the clock's frozen right now, but the bucket will count for Notre Dame. Tay Davis, they're going to have to adjust that clock issue. I'm not sure if the officials or players have noticed it You're yet. You're the only one in the arena that has recognized. There it goes. Well, now it's moving, but they're going to have to yeah. take down some seconds. As there's a little runner, and that goes there from Nadozi. I really and honestly do not think anybody. No. I don't think anyone that. noticed it. No. it was, and it was uh, 10, 12 oh, seconds, maybe 15. Maybe the whole possession almost. <laughs> the clock did not move. Here's a steal for Yao. Israel Yao trying to go all the way out of bounds. It'll be Notre Dame basketball. But we saw that near alley oop. I was actually looking on YouTube at Israel Yao. He's from Guyana. Yes. There's a great video. He had an absurd dunk. I mean, he took off from about the free throw line, dunked over a guy in a gym in Guyana, and people were going nuts. It's a great, if you, if you have a yes. chance to look it up, definitely check out Israel Yao's highlights on YouTube. Well, again, he's one that's going to continue to get better and understand the game. As Burton, veteran move right there off the yes. window. Veteran as a freshman. Veteran move as a freshman. 12 points for him now. Notre Dame, six of their last seven from the field. Claxton with the runner. Again, this is a this is a, a setup that Notre Dame has here of oh my. Roper with the lob, Booth can't finish. But they are so long with this lineup. 
Konezny, no. And Yao grabs the rebound. And you have a lot of length out there, especially in the defensive end that really contests everything. Poked away. Burton nice with the dish pass. for Konezny. South Bend connection oh. for two. And that'll send us to a break. Notre Dame cruising on their home floor, 65-39. They lead it. You're about to go viral, but it's not so bad. Even if you'll forever be known as the hashtag dad. Just remember to take life one spoonful at a time and go. Go to your place. Choose counter when you order ahead in the McDonald's app and you can skip the line and get your food faster. <laughs> well played. Order ahead in the app to save time. Uh-oh. It's the Southeast Mini Golf Mixer Champs. Anything cool this weekend? Mark. Mark. I just stayed in. That's cool. Yeah. Cleveland or South Beach. Be the real you. The love that goes into a Subaru comes out when Subaru and our retailers share the love. 116,000 animals supported. 3,300 wishes granted. 4.3 million meals provided. And over 400 national parks protected. Be a part of something bigger. Get a new Subaru during the Share the Love event and Subaru and our retailers will donate $300 to charity. Get 2.9% APR financing on a new 2024 Outback during the 2023 Subaru Share the Love event. aspect of the GMC Sierra HD with the pulling power to prove it. Tow hitches of the world prepare for glory. My name is Willy Wonka. I'm something of a magician and chocolate maker. Ooh. He's good. Too good. You should stand up to those Buddhas. We give them the old one, two. I got an idea. Where do we start? Every good thing started with a dream. So you hold on to yours. I guess it's time to change the world. Wonka, rated PG, only in theaters December 15th. Welcome back to Purcell Pavilion. Again, I'm Dara Mabry, and I was just listening in to Jason Crafton's huddle. Despite being down by 26 late in the second half, he is still coaching his team every single possession. He emphasized getting a stop, a score, and a stop, and to just control what they can control. He said, don't worry about the refs. It's a tough place to play in. You're playing an ACC team, and he just kept reminding his team to do the little things and stay positive as they keep looking to chip away in this second half. Thanks, Dara, and that's definitely the right mentality to have. You said it earlier, Coach, this is not the type of team that you'd expect to quit even no. down 26. Absolutely. And again, uh, every opportunity you have as a player to get better, you have to look forward to it. And I see a new player out there we have not seen on the floor in a long time. See Mr. Sanders out there. Yeah, Tony Sanders Jr. getting yes. an opportunity as there's a turnover. Senior out of Miami. Hasn't played yet this season. And you know, you look at that, there's a senior getting an opportunity to play, and he has been loyal to the program. When a lot of people could have jumped out of the portal, I look at him and say, hey, I'm here to get my Notre Dame degree. And uh, that's, that's a tribute to the type of person he is. 
not sure if there was another. Yep, there was another clock adjustment there. Wow, we've had a lot yes. of clocks. I was wondering. I didn't you say anything know. because, but I said, how could they have added time yes. if the clock was stopped? So now I, I think we've got it all I in think order. We got it all right. <laughs> Sometimes if you're, you know, Eastern Shore right now, <laughs> you might think, let's get the clock moving. Yeah, it can be difficult when you're facing a big deficit. Yeah, but they're going to play through it. Not anymore. No more hopping. I'm doing good. Here's Kinesny on the baseline. Fall away jumper. Again, you're getting great play from not only the starters, but the bench tonight. And that's going to always help as you get into the ACC you know, conference play. You've got to have more than five. You've got to have eight guys all on the same page. And that's what Coach Shrewsbury wants to build is that depth. And you, know, you talked about Tony Sanders Jr. staying with the yeah. program. And Coach Shrewsbury talked about that a lot earlier in the season is that you know these players had a choice, the ones that were here. Yep whether to stay or go and Tony Sanders Jr. one of those players that believed in coach Shrewsbury yes. wanted to finish his Notre Dame degree as well and gets rewarded here with an opportunity to get on the floor. We need more young men like that that say you know what it's not about me transferring someplace to to get maybe a few more minutes. I, I value the degree I'm going to get. The portal has kind of created a, a situation where you have people just you know, getting in a portal, and a lot of them don't have any place to go once they uh, get in the portal. As Imes is blocked from behind, and the shot clock violation will give it to UMES. Another great example right there. You're playing, you're down, but you're still playing extremely hard, and you get a shot clock violation. I haven't seen too many of those for the Irish all, all night. Yeah, that was a really good defensive possession from the Hawks. Here's Hupstead. Davis handed his face, but he hits the jumper. First points of the night for Chase yeah. Davis, yeah. and that's certainly hurt the Hawks. He came in as their leading scorer with 13 and a half a night. Yeah. Notre Dame's done a really good job of finding him. You know, this is an interesting lineup right now without Marcus Burton at the point. You know, now you're going to have a variety of different people handle the ball. And no matter what, they're going to be freshmen. Booth, Jai, Sanders, Shrewsbury, and Imes in the game for Notre Dame. Imes and Shrewsbury, of course, AU teammates, so they know each other very well. Under 10 on the timer. Good pass inside. Jai backing his way in. The hook shot goes. I don't need my right hand. I got that left-handed hook, jump hook down. And we've seen Jai knock down the three. We yes. see some nice post moves right there. Good to see. If you're an Irish fan, you have to be excited to have him back. Yes. Uh, he just adds another dimension for the team. And as I mentioned before, it just gives a coach a lot more options. When you only have two bigs to work with, then you're limited. So you have one setting and one plank. But right now, he's got two bigs on the floor. And so Booth can go out where he feels comfortable at the three-point line. And of course, then you've got your big inside. So uh, it's more of a 4-1 look. It definitely gives Notre Dame a lot more options yes. for Coach Shrewsbury. And, and he was the most excited, of course, mentioned about what Jai does on the defensive end of yes. the floor. And, you know, it's not just being a shot blocker, rim protector, but he's very, very vocal if you're close to the floor. He's constantly talking like a quarterback out there, letting his teammates know where he is and where the screens are coming from. You know, that's one of a skill set that's so important in college basketball, being able to talk both offensively and defensively to your teammates. Upstead hitting the second free throw there. Good night for him as Booth up the top of the key, three short, but Hopstead with 13 points, nine rebounds, he's close a, to a double-double. He's had a great night. And he's a player that came into this game averaging a double-double, but Notre Dame well on their way. The Irish lead it by 25 on their home floor.
you're about to go viral. But it's not so bad, even if you'll forever be known as the hashtag dad. Just remember to take life one spoonful at a time and go. Go to your Uh-oh. It's the Southeast Mini Golf Mixer Champs. Anything cool this weekend? Mark. Mark. I just stayed in. That's cool. Yeah. Cleveland or South Beach. Be the real you. What I feel in my heart during the Subaru Share the Love event, it's just so rewarding. We believe in love, not just our customers, but also our community. And the Subaru Share the Love event is truly an example of that. Over $285 million donated is phenomenal. It absolutely sets us apart from all other car companies. Right now, get a new Subaru, and Subaru and our retailers will donate $300 to charity. Get 2.9% APR financing on a new 2024 Outback during the 2023 Subaru Share the Love event. Students. Students of any age, from anywhere. Using our technology to power different ways of learning. So when minds grow, opportunities follow. People who come to Cricket stay with Cricket. My family loves going foraging by our farms. And with Cricket, we can mark our locations, post photos, even identify mushrooms. Don't have to look far for a good deal. Smile, you're on Cricket. There's DNA, then there's heavy duty DNA. H-DNA. It's engineered into every aspect of the GMC Sierra HD with the pulling power to prove it. Tow hitches of the world prepare for glory. Micah Shrewsbury has to be happy with the effort of his group tonight, ahead by 25. One of three new coaches in the ACC this year, along with Damon Stoudemire, Georgia Tech, and Adrian Autry at Syracuse. And Coach, I have to ask you, I mean, what do you think of Adrian Autry yeah. going to the man-to-man? -to -man? It's yes, like if they moved Thanksgiving it. to a I Tuesday in exactly. March. Yeah. Easter and <laughs> Christmas and all that. Yeah, watching the Orange. I'm thinking, what? They're... they're they're playing man to man? Yeah, I mean, it's like you're on a different planet. It's going to yes. be completely different watching Syracuse basketball, but he's <laughs> insisted about it, feeling no. good about what they can do with that man to man. Well, here's the thing coaches coach what they know. And, you know, if you're not a matchup zone guy, why do it? Just because the previous guy, you got to coach what you, what you know and who you are. And so hats off to that for sure. And there's Jai into the corner. Sanders for three. At the shot clock buzzer. You got to feel good about that. You got to feel good. I really like what Coach Shrewsbury's doing. He's bringing these young kids in. First points for Tony Sanders, Jr. of the season. You see a couple of walk-ons getting ready to come in for Notre Dame. They added five to the roster. So important. You know, a lot of people don't realize what is a walk-on. He is a person that's coming every day to practice to make his teammates better to know the opponents as best as he can as alex wade had it stripped away started his career as a walk-on earned a scholarship prior to this season as jai comes away with the board booth with a turnover and that'll give the opportunity for some of those walk-ons to check into the game. We'll get to see them after this. Great moment for Tony Sanders Jr. scoring his first points of the season. layers sprinkled with festive peppermint with love from San Francisco Ghirardelli peppermint bark squares makes the holidays a bite better Thank you. 
It's the Southeast Mini Golf Mixer Champs. Anything cool this weekend? Mark. Mark. I just stayed in. That's cool. Yeah. Cleveland or South Beach. Be the real you. What I feel in my heart during the Subaru Share the Love event, it's just so rewarding. We believe in love, not just our customers, but also our community. And the Subaru Share the Love event is truly an example of that. Over $285 million donated is phenomenal. It absolutely sets us apart from all other car companies. Right now, get a new Subaru, and Subaru and our retailers will donate $300 to charity. Get 2.9% APR financing on a new 2024 Outback during the 2023 Subaru Share the Love event. Let's go! NFL Sunday Ticket on YouTube TV is now starting at $89. Oh, my goodness! Watch every game, every Sunday, exclusively with NFL Sunday Ticket and YouTube TV. Let's go! Sign up now. Thanksgiving week sale ends Monday, November 27th. There's DNA. Then there's heavy-duty DNA. HDNA. It's engineered into every aspect of the GMC Sierra HD with the pulling power to prove it. Toe hitches of the world prepare for glory. 72-46, Notre Dame ahead playing great basketball tonight. The upcoming schedule, pretty tough going at South Carolina in the yeah. ACC-SEC Challenge, and then at Miami, one of the preseason favorites in the ACC. Yeah, that, that's a daunting schedule. And then you look at uh, Marquette, who lost a tough game uh, in Hawaii against Purdue by three points. So... There's going to be some tough challenges ahead for this young team. Yeah, that's on the road at Marquette. That is going to be a real challenge. And Georgetown as well. Good to see some of those former rivals for Notre yes. Dame back on the schedule. Yes, isn't that for, for somebody that has not seen those two teams match up? That's good for those institutions, Catholic schools playing against each other. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of history behind those uh, rivalries. Yeah, back in the old Big East, oh. some of those battles. Chase Davis looking to complete the three-point play. He's been pretty quiet tonight. This Damani Claxton comes back on for UMES. Full court pressure still. Here's Wade. Head for Raheem Brayton. Another local product yes. from South Bend. Had it stolen away for a moment. Nadozi with the dish for Okwaragwo. Focus on getting the ball over half court here. Got a lot of walk-ons on. Got pe people open here. Need to set it up and just run some offense. Right now to Mishawaka High School, the Cavemen. Yes. One of the great nicknames in yes. high school sports. Three on the shot clock. Brayton with the jumper, no. And here's Yao running the other way. Right back to him. He's fouled. He'll head to the line for two. Yeah, another great story of a local young man that comes here to Notre Dame to walk on and. Uh, Again, these guys come to practice every day. They've got to know the opponent's uh, offensive sets. Uh, they go to class like everybody else. And, uh, you know, this is a goal time for them to have the opportunity to play. As I look at the schedule, <laughs> there's not going to be a whole lot of time for these guys to get actually on the court. Yeah, and you talk about being a student. Raheem Brayton, his plans after he graduates from Notre Dame to attend medical school. Yes. So. You know, he's very serious about his studies. Yes, how many walk-ons in the country do you have that's going to go to med school after uh, after graduation? And that is not easy, having to deal with the MCAT, all, everything oh. that goes with that. It's a big challenge, so credit to him. And credit to Coach Shrewsbury, allowing these kids these minutes to play. Yeah, good moment. It's Thomas Crow underneath. Pops out. Into the corner, Hatton for three, and he swishes it. Thomas Hatton, his first career points. 
and the bench erupted. Here's Yao spinning. Wade running ahead the other way into the opposite corner. That three doesn't go. They were looking to Hatton again. <laughs> oh, that's special. You get your name in the book, the Notre Dame book, by hitting the three. Doesn't go there from Nadozi. Well, for UMES, they certainly showed the resolve in the second half. Trying to hang tough in this one, but for the most part, it's been all Notre Dame tonight. It has, and they've done a great job of controlling things. The starters came out and established the threes, you know, and so it became contagious. So once everybody starts hitting, then the bench comes in and starts hitting them. So uh, hats off to this great pass here, and a great feeling for that young man. Yeah, Thomas Hatton, a great story. He didn't even start playing basketball competitively until high school. Gee, and wow. here he is knocking down a three at Purcell Pavilion. Yes. Great moment story. for him. Well, that's a great Thanksgiving present for his parents. <laughs> Out of San Clemente, California, was the valedictorian at San Juan Hills High School. Hmm. Student athletes out here. Guarago, it's the two-point jumper. I'll let the clock run out here. No shot. Raheem Brayton can dribble out the final seconds. He'll give it over there to JT Kelly. And Notre Dame with a 20-point win. Good early Thanksgiving night for Notre Dame. As they will head into the holiday happy tomorrow as they win it 